Okay, so we're still ongoing with the rough running of the Dodge Dart. Um, as I said before, this is car is is new to me. It's been built. It's a parts car, as in it's an assembly of someone else's creation. So the engine is from a 1978 Dodge truck, I believe. Looking at the block number, uh, Elder Brock car wouldn't be the original car. Distributor is a Mopar one may not have come with this engine, it's got different headers on I don't know what the cams are, I don't know what the heads are I believe it's stock but I'm not quite sure so there's a lot of things when you have a, a car that's new to you that's running rough that you've got to go through all the basics and three basic things really, and mechanical make sure the mechanicals are okay so I've done a compression check, the compression's good I believe all the valves are closing the best as I can with the compression check, that sort of confirms that um, set the in initial wake time into 8 degrees before top dead centre at 2,500 RPM it should be 32,000 so you've got a mechanical advance, vacuum advance working there and then there was a question mark over the carbs so I've rebuilt the carbs, I think I've got it running alright well, it's not running any worse, it's not running any better so every time you do something see if it changes the fault you're chasing, it's not and always what I'm thinking is with the knowledge of working on cars, it feels like it's an ignition problem because it's a uh, pinking or pre-ignition at one point on the timing just take it off um, part throttle and it's starting to stumble now that's when the mechanical advance would come in so then also uh, it would start to retard the ignition now there is a problem on the Mopars with the set of the the actual the point of it on the um, pickup where it comes across there's like a little star wheel I'll show you in a minute as it comes across the points that pickup can there's two points with a little roll pin that you can locate it so I believe that might be in the wrong place um, because there's one location for a small block and there's one, place, one position for a big block Chevy they use uh, sorry not Chevy <laughs> Mopar they use the same distributor in both engines one runs clockwise which is a small block and the big block runs anti-clockwise so I'm going to have a look at that and there's a couple of ways you can do it, they, they call it um, distributor phasing so basically it's the alignment of when that rotor arm is pointing at that point on the distributor cap that's the same point that the pickup uh, should be breaking the coil so it actually sends a spark whereas if you get that sliding out of phase uh, it's then going to fire at the wrong point which I'll show you in a minute and the other thing I found out as well is on the gauge where it was sort of reading 50 and obviously most people are saying it should be like about 20 um, inches of mercury for uh, vacuum advance I suddenly realised obviously this is in KPA so if you take a look at the gauge here this was actually reading down here and here sort of 50 it tick over and then going up to about 70 with part throttle well I've done a bit of a conversion here so you can see that 50 was like 14 we're meant to be about 20 so you really want sort of 69, 70 so uh, it, it should have been down here on the gauge and it wasn't but I'm going to order another gauge in the actual proper units of um, HG inches of mercury so um, this is Chris's gauge I borrowed anyway which sort of gave me the right point but I've got another one on order from eBay so we'll see how we get on with that so I think what I'll do with this for the time being is just take this off plug this back up and just show you about this phasing right so how I understand it then this is your distributor cap here it's got a good angle on it this is your rotor arm here at that point there it should be firing now when you have your um, advance and retard this will move like this with mechanical now you really probably want it sort of set midway so idle it's over here and then at full advance you'll be over here and it's still always going to spark to that point what I think is because the phasing is slightly wrong I think it's over here slightly and then when you get into full uh, vac and mechanical advance it's ending up over here and at this point here it could either spark to this one or this one uh, if you can see that again so so you really should be in this zone here like this but I think it's operating over here and going over there and you can't quite see but there is 
it's not arcing in the middle it's arcing to one side so I think that's what the problem is now what they say to do is drill a hole in the top of the distributor put a line on on this put your timing light on and you should be able to see that firing about that point and as we rev it we'll see it varying and if we see it slew off towards the other uh, cylinder we know that's how we're getting the misfire so I'm going to drill a hole in this put this cap on ring it up and we'll see how that goes okay so I've drilled a hole in the cap there put a little white mark on the rotor around there so what we should be looking for really is the cap in here so I'll put the timing light on this lead here so it's going to flash at the point that this is coming past this post so this is going to be roughly in here like this let's get it right yeah so we're talking roughly something like that there that would be absolutely sort of spot on so we want to be sort of here start off on 8 degrees beat it, and then on full advance going over to here but I think we're going to be over here going over this way so let's get it on the car so it runs So I've got the cap back on, you can see there the hole in the dizzy cap, so I'll turn that on. It's not on cylinder one, it doesn't really matter, so it's just this one here, I need to put the timing light strobe to this one, so it's going to pick up the signal, it's going to pick up the signal from this lead here, and it should be in line perfectly between those, so we're going to see at what point whether it's slightly um, retarded back or what I should say is before top dead center after top dead center or in the middle on the post so that's the, what we're going to see I'm going to run it up but obviously you probably don't want to hear me talk while I'm doing it so I'll bring the camera over, we'll have a look we'll get it on tick over, bring the tick over up mechanical advance will come in that should pull it back, we'll see how far it comes back and then we'll take a decision from there decided also I'm going to eliminate the coil I'm going to raid the coil off my GMC pickup truck so let's go and get that off Marginally warmer. Right, let's. I'm just going to slave this in for now.
Okay, seems to have done a little better. Um, not completely convinced with this though, so I'm still going to look, look at the phasing in there and take that off and see if I can swap that roll pin round from Tunica Red on the forum. So I'm going to try that. Well, it turns out it is correctly positioned. As you can see, just see the roll pin near where that arrow is on the reluctor. That's where it's meant to be for the small block, whereas the big block is in the lower one there which then obviously alters the timing so that seems to be right um, I've got the air gap now down to 0.8 you see So we're still ongoing with the rough running of the Dodge Dart. Uh, check the phasing by drilling the hole in the top of the distributor cap, and um, that proved to be okay. Uh, put in, the, slaved in the ballast uh, sorry, the uh, blaster resistor off my um, GMC pickup truck. That made no difference. So the next thing I'm going to get onto is if we've got the pickup coil right, wide the right way around. Uh, I've looked at this, and grey is positive black is negative the way and when it goes into here it does actually change colors on this socket it goes into um, let's flip that over the right way around so it actually transfers the gray goes into brown which is here and the black goes into gray which I think by the time it gets back to the module on this point here is the wrong way around so I'm going to bell out check a bit out of there check out the wiring you see there's been some splicing here with the wiring going in for the um, ballast resistor so I'm going to check that I've actually got all this wired up right um, and then have a look at that it, uh, I've got some diagrams printed off over here on the, the Porsche um, workbench uh, so I've got that diagram to look at and check this one here that I found online and failing any of this going completely wrong got a bit of guidance off the A-body forum about fitting one of these GMC um, ignition modules like this so looks a fairly easy thing to wire up basically you've got a couple of wires here that go on to the distributor pickup so they're the distributor pickup at that end and this end these are going to the coil so it, it voids the ballast resistor and it's just 12 volts directly to the coil uh, this will just need earthing through this point one of these points it'll need earthing and really if I'm going to run it long term it'll need mounting an aluminium heatsink so that's the backup plan let's see how we can get on with the wiring and uh, I'll get back to you so I've run it up now with the GM HEI module slaved in not very really pretty but it works so it needs an earth here uh, two leads go off to the coil and two leads go to the pickup uh, so I've, obviously it wasn't running like that touching the exhaust but it was, it was strapped up up here so it ran up ran a bit better still not 100% convinced it solved the problem however it is a lot hotter and better spark than the original Mopar unit so what I've done is I've copied um, a picture off a, an A body forum where they'd actually mounted it underneath you can buy a bracket but I've made it so I've made this little bracket here that uh, is tapped and drilled into the base of the distributor and then the little HEM module goes on there so what's going to happen next is there'll be two the two wires from the pickup coil will go on to here like that on, on the crimps and then there's two wires on the other side will go onto the coil so it's going to be quite a neat, neat insulation and it will then get rid of quite a few wires here and I've also got to do away with the ballast resistor so it's going to tidy this side of the engine and bay up a bit so I'll put those wires on and then show putting that in and uh, that'll be good so the distributor is wired up now um, should give thanks to two people really one on the A-body forum that sent me this diagram here 
uh, which shows how to wire the GMHEI module up. And also, thanks to a guy, a uh, YouTube video that I found that I put in the link that showed how to wire one up as well. So, using both of those, it's helped. So, I've got my module on the side here now. It's got the wires there to the coil pickup on that side. Uh, sorry, to the, uh, the pickup on the distributor there. And then these two wires are going to go to the coil. So, this also means that the wiring here can be tidied up quite a lot you can see this is the which was going to the pickup and this is onto the actual four pin ECU so basically all this wiring here can come out I'm going to do reroute some of the wiring here from the um, balance resistor because this is no longer needed that was the feed that's basically the positive side of the, of the ballast resistor there and this is the feed to the coil and the reason there's two wires here is one goes to the coil and the other one is an extra 12 volts just while you're cranking so it basically bypassed the ballast resistor and gave it the full 12 volts so what I'll find is by carefully taking these back that's a feed there for the ECU so that can come out I'll probably find I'll probably just take this one wire I think this blue wire back to the coil which will be the positive of the coil with the ignition on because that's only 12 volts while it's cranking which I don't need anymore so all that can come out and this wire I'll just route back towards the coil which would then start to thin out and tidy up this um, complete mess over the brake matter cylinder right distributor back in coil wired up so the coil just has two wires there now from the bottom of the pickup onto the actual coil I'm just going to slay the feed into the positive because I'm still not quite sure about this. This was the feed into the um, ballast wire, but it also goes through this regulator. I'm not sure if I need this regulator because I've got a modern um, alternator on, so I'm not sure if that's got a regulator that's been built. So I'm just going to slave past that, see if I can get it started. Okay, so that proves I've got it running with the GMHEI module neatly fitted underneath the distributor there. Um, like I say, I just need to work out about this feed here, um, whether I need that or not. But I didn't want to route too long because it is 10 o'clock at night, so I don't want to pee the neighbours off too much. So I think that'll do for now, so at least the GM conversion to HEI is done.